National Orientation Agency has reiterated calls for the eradication of irregular migration by women in Nigeria. Dr. Garba Abari, Director General, National Orientation Agency, made the call at the third edition of the International Conference on the Economic and Social Effect of Women Migration Lectures organized by Mothers of the Earth International in Abuja. Abari, who was represented by Mrs. Teresa Nanwe, a director in the agency, said irregular migration by women had forced many into prostitution, rape and unforeseen illnesses like HIV and AIDS, among others, expressing the commitment of the agency to drive social restructuring, saying it is time to end rural and urban migration of women. In the area of migration, the economic community of West Africa says it was reports in this survey of migration policy 2016 that Nigeria accounts for over 300,000 individuals in the United States and the United Kingdom alone. While the number of irregular immigrants is not reported, the people given for the US is about 29,000. 723 visa on our stays for the year ended as at May 2019. This shows that Nigeria has a proclivity for irregular pattern of migration. This irregular migration pattern seriously affects the fundamental human rights of both women and men, socially and economically. Women being more seriously affected as the most vulnerable gender. The social and economic effects of irregular migration includes, among other things, one, social discrimination of irregular migrants in Europe and Asian countries, two, sexual abuse, such as rape, in the countries of Europe and Asia, three, unforeseen illnesses such as HIV, AIDS, and other infections, four, weakened sale of organs such as kidneys to raise money. Five, women turn into baby producing machines which they cannot parent or live with. Six, finally, one out of these are migrants who are perpetually stuck on drugs, becoming addicts, social reclusive, and criminals, living as undesirable elements in their new society. Economically, most of these immigrants find themselves in the underground economies of Europe, domestic workers who are denied their rights by the employers in Europe and Asian countries. Against this backdrop, the National Orientation Agency, as I mentioned, which is particularly mandated to play a special role in carrying out the sensation campaign, even to the grassroots level, thereby we should call upon European and Asian countries to respect the human rights of African migrants, both men and women. We also wish to enlighten the citizens, the essence and scope of migrants, women with this attendance social and economic effects and it affects human rights and empowerment of the African migrant women. We earnestly call upon the federal government of Nigeria to, one, by foreign policy, make the various countries first respect the human rights of European migrants. Two, to fully implement and as well, as well as improve the Nigerian migration policy and its implication as the catalyst for irregular migration, both home and abroad, and ensuring that rural urban migration, which is a springboard for migrants, women and women and men, is prevented or eradicated by providing basic service, services such as the following. One, education, health care and adequate housing for rural and urban dwellers, and to revamp infrastructures such as electricity, portable water supply to prevent all our government missions. Two, promotion of investment and flow of capital to rural dwellers for economic opportunities to prevent all our government missions seeking for employment opportunities. Three, proper documentation monitoring migration should be carried out in this way to follow the fundamental human rights of African women migrants to be fully preserved and protected. Lastly, providing of employment opportunities for our youth. They are the most kids. In her remarks, Mrs. Hafsatu Yusuf, founder, Mothers of the Earth International, narrated the efforts of the organization to curb migration, called for government support, 
to enable organizations like hers to do more, expressing optimism in overcoming challenges. We, as mothers of the Earth International, took the awareness campaign to many states of the Federation and set an agenda of numerous topical issues that could lead to, to propelling mass migration. After these actions, we went to the internally displaced persons camps in some states and communities to provide relief materials to the people there. Some of the states we went to include Taraba, Adamawa, Borno, Kaduna, and the FCT. We chose the states in question because the statistics revealed that they have the highest number of migrants, particularly women and children. In spite of our efforts, as stated, we clearly discovered that there is so much left unborn. All hands are needed and that mothers of the Earth Foundation could not do it alone. Despite the fact that we have continually worked closely together with global and local partners just as committed, and as successful as we are, it is clear that we still cannot get to the pinnacle without the collaboration, support, and obliging commitment of the federal government and state authorities, traditional rulers and politicians. Governments and our institutions are important in order to expand the scope and outreach, while traditional institutions are vital because they are closeness to the people in the community and therefore each reach them more quickly. As for the politicians, they are needed for passing the enabling laws that will boost the initiative process for seamless order. For his part, Mr. Franz Celestin, Chief of Mission International Organization for Migration, who was represented by Maria Quintaro, said that the organization was committed to empower women globally. I, I, I just want to, um, to, to address uh, well, some issues that uh, we have been uh, encountering and finding um, in, in our programming. Uh, and one is uh, well, the, the trafficking of, of women, where we have, uh, as I have been uh, empowering uh, the women uh, as the heads of the families and as uh, the ones that can have the, uh, the, uh, the um, the power to uh, to make changes in their communities, starting by the families. We uh, we are committed with uh, the disempowerment of uh, all the women in the whole world, uh, and especially here in Nigeria. Uh, we have uh, found that uh, the women have um, significant skills to um, to to. Uh, to make the changes from the roots. Uh, and this is by, by not only raising the children, but also by, uh, by being committed 